I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Oh, no, not Abadongo. Pro Controller's out here setting up. He doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, he's probably going to disconnect it soon. Yeah, I think he's connected to somewhere else. Yep. He's got to play his uh, loser's match now at this point. True. Eventually, eventually, it'll go away. He's trying. Oh, wait, I think they finally got him out. No. Nope. Damn. Every there we <laughs> go. Oh, did you see how Rado got up? He was angry. There we go. Going with Joker. Where's the Pokemon trainer? You know what? They made it a winner, so they can do whatever the hell they want. Uh, I mean, yeah. Why not? Maybe it's like, we don't want to play uh, a 30-minute set. Let's have fun for once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did not know. I didn't know that. I knew they played other characters. I didn't know what other ones, and apparently it's these two. Right. Pokemon Trainer, very good, uh, very good, you know, character. They're able to do so much damage, and it really just depends on your management of, like, switch between Pokemon. No, getting that quick up air and trying to get that up B, but not going to be able to quite find its mark. And Joker just trying to space out with these back airs. Ooh, getting that quick up. Oh, unfortunately getting hit the Rebel's guard and gets Arsene off of it too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, jumps up with the nair, but Kamemi dropping shield a little too early. Oh my god, that backer destroyed Ivysaur. I'm not with Charizard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the color of that Charizard. It looks. Oh my god. A little, little too green to, for me. Yeah, that looks like a very sickly Charizard. Oh my god. Exactly. Up B out of shield. DP not really something you see a lot from Charizard. You really just see that up smash with how strong it is. Switching yeah. immediately back to the Squirtle though. And again, that down tilt not a very good move. Yeah, not a fantastic move, but it actually does hit below the ledge. Yeah. So I understand that's why he went for it. But calling out the up air from a mile away. Yet again, how's Ivysaur going to get back up from ledge? You know, he tried grabbing, but unfortunately Joker was nowhere near him for that grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried going for guns to kind of like hit Ivysaur out of the vine whip. but Yeah, out of the tether. And that's so that's so good because if they're not ready for it, they'll like up B and then try to up B again, but you don't get that second jump, so you just kind of fall back. And once that happens, you need to, you need to be ready for what you need to do. You're like, all right, do I need to up B or switch right now? You know, Joker getting a quick down tilt. He's trying to find a fair, but not going to be able to quite do it. And Ooh. down throw up B. I love the tomahawk. Oh, no, not going to get the sweet spot on the up B. Oh. He died. Yeah. That, 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 that was, was wild. Yeah. That was potato DI, man. That was, uh, that was just, ugh. Yeah. Right on now up. Two stocks. Gets the drag down up there. Missed the tech down smash. That was so beautiful. So Charizard's out. Didn't get the hit. All right, let's get, I'll put you away. Again, kind of breaking out Joker's combo with that fair. And yet again, Squirtle really good at racking up a lot of damage really quickly, but gets grabbed and upthrown for it. So right now, he's actually still staying with the Squirtle. I'm surprised he hasn't switched over to the uh, Ivysaur, especially since Arsene's out. Right. He's 60%. I'll kill you right now. Yep, there uh, we go. Oh, that was a really Down throw turnaround back air? I did not know that character can do that. I mean, he just did it, and he's dead for it. Yeah, I believe he caught him on the DIN, yeah. so that would make sense. I mean, most characters would like expect, like, oh, he's going to forward throw me off stage. Let me DIN to like not get like super far off stage. And the fact that that throw was just instant. Yeah. Let's see where we're going to be going for game two. We're looking at Yoshi's Island. It's actually the first time I've seen Yoshi's today. <laughs> I feel like Yoshi's Island is like the new Lila. Like, nobody likes it. True. Yeah, like the people who like it like like because oh the character can do this on this stage. It's a right. very niche pick. And it's, it's either insta ban it because I don't like it or realize that your opponent probably doesn't like you, so don't waste a ban on it. Right. And it's like when you have when you find that one opponent it's like, yeah, let's let's go here and be like, oh, okay, never mind. Like okay. now now you're gonna actually make me waste a ban on this? Okay. But here we go in a game two and yet again, quick uh Nair into Ford Air. Yeah, Yoshi's Yoshi's such an interesting stage just because if you look at that bottom, uh, that bottom floor, you see all those slants, and especially at the ledge, you see slants. So a lot of weird interaction can happen. Right. Sometimes you get stage back, you'll go flying, and the fact that the stage is not small at all, all right. or big at 
big at all. Yeah, I mean, that bottom blast zone is basically non-existent. Yeah, bottom blast zone, side blast zone, you, you're dying early. I can't, I don't know how else to tell you. Going back to the uh, Ivy Sword, I like that he did a little uh, little Razor Leaf, just get some damage, get, get off me. Ooh, he read the air dodge, but unfortunately not going to be able to space it quite well enough. Ooh, goes and for the yeah, goes for those down bullets again. You really want to try to snipe Ivysaur with that, uh, with the tether, to really put him in that panic situation. Sometimes just force them to SD. Yeah, again, he tries going for that dash attack, but gets parried into just jab. a jab. Unfortunate, yeah. no F tilt or anything else. Oh, there's an error. He was looking for something off of that. He trying to find the grab, but unfortunately that dash attack is going to get punished. Oh, that, that should have been a re-grab punish, but you no, know, Joker not having the best. Uh, oh my God! Hit yeah. him off guard! Hit yeah. him off guard! You see, both the players just popped up. Like, Wait a minute! Yeah. Yet again, you know, ooh, gets the clean back air and looking for the edge guard, but no, the Aegon's gonna cover his landing. Yeah, went out there to try to snipe him with the back air, but immediate Aegon, get off me! Don't forget, I have this. Quick fair in the back air, but not going to be able to find it. You know, Joker was looking for that Rebel's Guard to be like, hey, here's like 50% of my gauge and in a single attack. Yeah, fair just to get him off me, but that, yeah, that big uh, forward air going to get him away. And right yeah. there, we see Charizard leave. He did his service. Now Squirtle's out to do that quick 60 if he can get that hit. Great stuff pairing the you know, withdrawal. Yeah. I mean, that's like one of the few ways you have to punish that move. Yeah, you either parry it or you footstool him out of, off of it. Yeah. Yet again, Joker getting that quick F smash off yeah. of the whiff attack. Unfortunate, Ivy just did not have the range that he wanted, even with that forward air and how far it hits. And again, a quick up throw up air, gets another up air, almost gets a third one, but will trade with it. Rido getting a quick up till, and unfortunately the up smash. Oh my god, yep, down air up smash. Yep. I definitely would have liked to see that kill, but back here again. Oh, yeah. Rido, Kamehameha up 2-0. Bro, Rido was getting caught off, like, guard with these. Like, yeah. Like, he, he got down throw back here at the last game. He got, he just got back, back here randomly play. a Squirtle. There's no way you're living that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a tiny little, tiny little turtle. Yep. So he tried escaping in the Ivy Sword, and Joker's just like, ha-ha, you air dodged, you not, fool, back here again. You're not going anywhere. Yep. Oh. That, oh. that was a trap. I tricked you into to committing to something, and now that, I, that I've done that, you are dead. Yeah, now Rido, I was really thinking about going back to PS2. What's the music gonna be? Battle something something? I don't read it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so let's see if uh, Rido's gonna switch characters. Oh, the Wii Fit, I actually, yeah. Earlier I saw him and Kamehame playing, and uh, Rido was playing the Wii Fit. Wii Fit, again, really good gear character in this game. Deep breathing, otherwise known as new limit. You're able to do so much, and her damage output is so insane. Right. She's able to actually like go into the neutral and like participate and try to get her crazy strings that you, right. she's always been able to get. And you know what the, the insane thing about deep breathing is that if you die, you can basically start the new stock with deep breathing, mm -hmm. and there's nothing your opponent can do. Yeah, really good examples like Wadi. You just see him constantly getting deep breathing no matter what. Right. Do I have an opportunity? I'm getting it. Yeah. And you saw like how in that one step versus elegant, you know, the only reason why he was able to win that set was because deep breathing uh, reduces the amount of damage you take. So he was able to live the elegant combo. Wait, it reduces the damage you take? Yes, it reduces the damage you take by 20%. That's ridiculous. Okay, wow, that is insane. This character's busted. More people definitely should play Wii Fit. She's such a fun character. But Ooh, oh my god, Kamehameha fight. does not care. Yep. I do not care about how fun your character is. I'm already in shape. Look at me. I'm ripped. Yep. Jesus, this damage is insane. Oh, my oh God. My. He almost died there, and the only reason why he didn't die was because Arsene ran out at the last second. Arsene definitely memed him. Yep. Arsene is just like, okay. Oh, my God. He's just got it back again. He literally he, just got Arsene back in, like, one hit. I watched, I watched his, like, meter just fill up immediately. Yeah, salute the sun. Definitely. Thank you, son. So right now, just yep. the, the counter pick is not looking like it's working. Ooh, Four, he yeah. tried getting forward air into up smash, but unfortunately, we fit going to pop up a little bit too high. I'm not going to lie to you. Kamehameha is thrashing around Raido. Yep. That dash attack actually kind of just going under the bullets. Wow, he already lost Arsene. I feel like that was Arsene that lasted like no time at all. 
That's true. I uh, He came and went, but look how much damage he did. Yep. Yeah, I think it's really difficult for, like, Wii Fit to confidently ed edge guard Joker when he doesn't have Arsene right. because of that tether. And I think the only way he's going to be able to do it is if he, like, runs off, does a header. Oh, yep, there we go, Arsene. Back, baby. And but he's gone. We thank God for that one. Yep. So Wii Fit's going to need... Gonna need a good combo right now to bring this back, but right. as soon as he throws out anything, bring out the Rebel's Guard. Why don't you just seal my meter for me? He's just putting right. gas in the tank. Dude, that was like 50% of the meter, too. Like, Jesus. At that point, I'm not trying to zone you out. Right. <laughs> Oop, quick spot dodge. Oh, manages to get Arsene back again, and up tilt into up tilt. I I'm surprised Rhino didn't just do back air out of shield, because back air comes out, like, super quick for mm -hmm. Wii Fit. And this is so dangerous for Wii Fit, just because she... Like, her main openings are if you get that, that falling there, and you can't really be below. Ooh. Not even. Yeah, you can't really be above Joker just because he has that anti-air up tilt, that anti-air up air. Right. Oh, just narrowing right through it. Yeah. And now Kamehameha's looking ready to move on to grand finals. Ooh, get that quick drag down, but unfortunately not going to be able to follow it up with anything. All right, down throw fair again. Kamehameha's Joker's looking nice. I want to see more of this. Yeah. Yeah, like Raido has not really been able to get m any openings. This is just, this is not fun. Right. So trying to camp the ledge a little bit, not really being able to play this ledge. Uh, this ledge guarding from Kamehameha has been so good. Yet again, but I mean, I feel like Raido is just like kind of making a little bit of headway here with the nair to up B. Or First nair I've actually seen him land. Yeah. Yet again, yeah. sneaks in that stalker ball. Yeah, hitting him right in the face, actually, with the yeah, with the soccer ball. Dash attack oh. again, going to hit him. Yep. You know, 100%, you know, this is bad for Wii Fit Trainer, but, you know, as long as he doesn't give him Arsene, like, this can be doable. Yeah, get you get you a deep breathing, get you a quick combo. You can bring this back. Like, you can right. do this. All right. I'm, yet again, like, I was about to say, like, that deep breathing lasted a while, but... It's gone. Yet again, up All right. Rhino's actually kind of making, uh, yeah, waves right now. Right. He's finally bringing this back to an even game, although he has been getting thrashed around. Yep. And deep breathing's on deck. Joker's at 88%. This is doable. Yeah, you need, honestly, like, first hit Nair into an up air or... Ooh! Oh, re-grab. Okay. Okay, we're finally right. hitting back. 150% after just getting... Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Rhino was losing that entire game. And then he's just like, okay, I need a Hail Mary there. I'm, yeah, I'm done getting thrown around. Oh, my God. That that was, like, both players were just kind of, like, laughing at that. They're having fun. Yeah. I was just like, okay, okay, I, you, you deserve that win. Yeah. Moving, you got the spike. You got the two frame. Going to move on to game four. I, I don't know if Raido's going to stay with the Wii Fit, but you know what? It netted him a game where the Pokemon trainer did not. Yep. Oh, we, we're going to Lucina. Okay, we're out here pulling out the top tiers. I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah. Are we going to see the Lucario from Kameme, though? I don't think he plays the card. You know what? I'm not even going to talk for him. He can play whatever the hell he wants. Sneaks over to the Wario. Joker. I'd like to see more of the Joker. Yeah. All right, there we go. Plays such a pretty color, too, with that, that red Joker. Yet again, here we go to game four. They're going over it. Raido going over to the Lucina. I think he realizes that, like, that game that he won was not, like, an earned, not an earned win, but it was just, you know, some silly, sh silly shenanigans happened, and, and right. I I kind of got lucky. I don't know if I can do it again. Right. So I think Lucina's a fine pick. Great character. Just She's able to get so much damage. She's able to kill so early. It might be one of the few characters that can actually edge guard Joker a little bit because, like, she can go in deep for the fairs. Yeah, she's good at edge guarding Joker when he has both, uh, when he's regular Joker and Arsene. Like, a lot of characters are doing good at one or the other, but this character's good at doing both. All right. Ooh, gets a quick shield breaker in, and now Joker has Arsene, so can she deal with Arsene before it kills her, or will she be able to time it out? He goes to the down air. Let Fair are hitting really meaty. Yep. And yet again, you saw Kamehameha just looking, uh, short hopping for that back air and trying to get that grab, but unfortunately going to whiff it. And Double finds back a, air. Yeah, yeah, finds the back air instead. Yes, that first stock again. Arsene about to run out, but not before we're getting some damage, 20%. Well, that looks like that's going to be it, but never mind. We get a big egg on before that happens, so you're going to be taking some damage, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you're going to be taking another 20% for that. 
Short up Nair, actually not going to kill, unfortunately. That back air barely not hitting, but Lucina, she's able to throw out like three forward slash back airs before, she in, uh, before she's supposed to recover. Right. And it's just like, if you're going to air dodge, like, uh, okay, like, thank you for dodging this one move. Uh, can you go and dodge through, like, the other three I'm going to throw out? The answer's no. That neutral air dodge, not fast enough. Yep. Catches the jump there. But, yep, throwing out the Rebels guard. That there was every time to do it. It's when you don't have a jump, you need to land. Ooh, and you saw Joker trying to go in deep for that edge guard, and unfortunately, not going to sweet spot the ledge for that. Mm -hmm. Four throw. Tried to get him with the egg on. Ooh. Oh my God, what a parry! His his shield was definitely gone if he if he messed that up. Yep. And you know, at that person, he would have been dead to a fully charged edge smash. Yeah, uh, just spamming that back here on the ledge. Yep. Lucky for Rido, not going to get hit. I think that's actually going to be it. Yep. Yep, we're going for that edge guard. Rido's Lucina's looking so good. But Oof. reading that roll away, I don't, where the hell do you think you're going? Yet again, we got ourselves an even game here. Oh, you saw Kamehameha just spotting out that uh, spot dodge. We're actually getting the Rebels guard for that first hit of the uh, the up tilt. Rebels guard's about to fill up. Yep. Probably another like 5-10%. Yeah, well, one fair. Yep. And immediately busting out with the down tilt, getting that damage. You know, and here's like the risk for war, you know, like you can get Rebels Guard to uh, go away sooner if you hit him, but like in order to hit him, you have to get in close for that. Mm -hmm. Yep, four throw. Ooh, trying fishing out that back air, but not going to find it. Finds the up tilt, not yeah. going to be able to kill him for it. Yep, anti air up tilt, what are you doing above me? Right now, Rido's looking for these back airs. Up smash, little too, uh, little too wanting for the kill. Ooh. Tries to get the down air. Yep. Oh, well, actually ran out of Arsene, but right. fortunately, uh, the. The tether was still enough. All right. Ooh, trying to scope out that down tail. Gets the down tail to down tail. Double down tilt. Goes to the F smash. Calling him out with the up air that it's going to actually kill. That's insane. I feel like that was horrible DI on Kamebe's part, though. Like, I feel like that up air should not have killed at that percent. Mm -hmm. Definitely. He caught him off guard with the DI. So now we're actually going to game five. And especially after those first two games, I was not expecting it to go like this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Switching over to the Wario. Yeah, I'm tired of losing. But yep. Lucina Wario, again, I don't feel like that's the best matchup for Wario. He's able to get spaced out a lot. But once Wario gets in, boy, once he gets in. I mean, like, we saw this matchup earlier with Marth, I believe. And yeah. So now, like, you have a character that's like, okay, I don't have to rely on tippers to kill you. Now yeah, I just, just need to hit you. Yeah, you just have a better character now, so. Yeah. Oh, double fair. I like how you went for down throw fair. Like, it wasn't back in like a lot of people go do. Oh, getting a quick up air combo. And yet again, you know, like it's both characters are just like, am I going to stuff you out with my fair or are you going to stuff me out with your fair? Mm -hmm. Oh, you Ooh. saw Lucina trying to go for that forward tilt tech chase, but gets punished for it. And yet again, when you get caught on the ledge, your Wario can just bite for free basically. Cause yeah, that's gr such a like underrated command grab right. that you just forget he has. And it's one of those things where, like, you see Wario, like, he's you feel like he's got a shark for up airs or, like, up tilts, and you realize, oh, wait, he has a command grab. Mm -hmm. All right, going high with the bike is such a good option just right. because it, you have to do a certain amount of percent to, like, knock him off, and then it, you have to call him out for it. All F tilt is going to just swipe him away, get away. Yep. Oh, Ooh, my God, was, this damage is insane. That was 53, 67% off of that one combo, and it just keeps on going. He just came down with the Angel platform. I'm I'm very confused on where this damage came from. You know, Wario's one of those characters where, like, when he gets into his groove, like, he swings for the fields, man. Wario, yeah, Wario's that character you're not expecting to be fast, and then you see him running, and like, slow down, yep. even without the bike. Yep. And I feel like the bike is one of those things that, like, People like think like, oh, I'm gonna hit you. Oh wait, why did I pick up the bike? And then Warrior was just like, haha, my yeah, trap free succeeded. Punish. Bam. Yeah, wakes up with the up tilt, not gonna kill yet. Going ultra high, not really gonna be able to get a punish unless you super commit. All right. And now Waff is on deck too. So like, if you can clean up the stock, you know, like. Oh yeah, if you get, if you can just get a quick down tilt dash attack, then. Oof. All right. There we go. Unfortunately, the sour spot of dash attack goes super deep with the down air. He didn't oh, have a jump. No. Oh, oh, my that's God. That's unfortunate. And now Command he's at me. kill percent. He's at kill percent at this point because there's the nair. There's the up air. There's the up air. There's the, oh, my God. If he had gone that third up air, that would have been death. 
Oh, going super deep for that Rido, really clutch, yeah. but that Waffle's Waff not leaving. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter if you die, it's still on deck. Yeah, you better pray he messes it up or yeah. doesn't get that up tilt. 60%. I don't even need the Waft. I know right. you're scared. Goes for the falling up, or you know he wanted that Waft. All right. Just oh, clapping okay. on him. Like, give me a round Come of on, applause. Give me that. Yeah, give me that. Oh, oh unfortunate. Oh. Throw it. <laughs> Rado's not happy with that. He's like, 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 you did not deserve this. That's a clap. dumbass move. Clap. He definitely clap, clap, clap your hands uh, on him. Like, like, how do <laughs> I win? You give him a round of applause. Definitely just clapped on him. Just uh, Everyone congratulated uh, him. It's yeah. so hard work. Uh, oh, that, that, that's just, like, what do you do in that situation? Still what, a great stuff, Kamehameha. You? Unfortunately, it was game five, and it's going to move over going to be in grand finals we're going to be getting right. a commentator switch so right. 